Hi, Watch Friends. The Watch in the Box trio is back, and today we've uncovered some must-see new arrivals. Hi, guys. Nice hey. to see you. Hey, good yeah. to be here. You guys have explored some new arrivals and picked a few. I've got some new arrivals for you, yes. I, I can tell a few options from each will be here today. Yeah. So definitely in the name of Father's Day, we've mm -hmm. chosen a pick for our dad. So a Father's Day bonus at the end. You guys don't want to miss that. Before we get into our picks of the week, would you guys like to do a wrist check? Yeah, Absolutely. Sure. You want me to start it off yes. today what for once? I have an awesome vintage Rolex cocktail. Ooh. This is actually white gold. Mm. And there are diamonds that offset it, not only on the bracelet a little bit that you can see here, but also on the top and bottom of the squared Pretty. case. <clears throat> what do you wear, Brayden? I've got on a vintage Rolex C dweller, reference 16660, the triple six, wow. uh, with a matte dial, has a nice patina. Um, I love these. You don't see them too often. Really great. What do yeah. you got on? Today, uh, a little Oris action. Chronoris, hey. one of my favorite. Um, just such a fun watch. They're cool. I, I like the shape. I like the, the inner rotating bezel. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I've never met one I don't like. So. Yeah. Well, be sure to let us know what you guys are wearing in the comments section. We love seeing your wrist check. Everybody that's been weighing in means a lot to us, so thank you so much. All right, watches. Let's get to it. What did okay. you pick this week, Justin? Yeah. Okay, so I have... Uh, Little GMT action. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, white gold Pepsi oh. GMT. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely a sleeper. Um, this watch is so great. So if you just see it, I mean, it kind of looks like if you don't really know, you don't really uh -huh. know Rolex, it looks like a stainless steel GMT. But it's not. But it's not. It's white gold. <laughs> when you pick it up, you can, you know, you can immediately tell. Mm -hmm. And also when you see it next to a stainless watch, it, it is a different color. Yeah. It's slightly different. Um, it has like a, a warmth Ooh, to the to the the metal that the stainless doesn't have. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, I mean, it's just a gorgeous watch. We don't see a lot of them. We see GMTs all the time, uh -huh. but the white gold ones are really special. They were introduced in 2018. Um, this one has the Oyster, which I actually prefer. It also comes on a Jubilee, mm -hmm. but I like the Oyster bracelet kind of just in general. Um, but yeah, it's got the ceramic bezel, the black dial, uh, white gold. Just a gorgeous watch. It's just feels nice and expensive and luxury. So awesome pick. anyway, couldn't pass this one up, but I'm interested to see what you guys got for the week. I actually am keeping it oh, vintage from Ooh. my wrist check to my watch of the week. Okay. I have a vintage Rolex cocktail. Um, this doesn't have a specific date associated with it, which is fine because it's still relishing in all of its glory. Mm -hmm. It's 14 karat yellow gold. It's 28 millimeters. It has 26 diamonds around that bezel. It actually has a champagne like textured um, dial mm -hmm. that I you can see it kind of catching the light, but then it also has the 14 karat yellow gold batons for the mm -hmm. hour markers. Ooh, the it's on perfectly dial. balanced to me. Um, there's a lot going on between the yellow gold and the diamonds yeah. and the textured dial, but for some reason it really just works all together. This specific watch's bracelet fits about a six and a quarter wrist. Okay. Um, so if you're a little bit smaller, it's definitely fun to wear a little bit looser. Otherwise, um, it would have to be a right fit. And this just so happens yeah. to fit my wrist, and so I fell in love with it. And so this is the real reason <laughs> nice. why I wanted to bring it to everybody's attention today. I mean, it's cool. It's like that grandma chic that's getting kind yes, of more popular 100%. right now. Oh, yeah. Um, I like how the dial kind of like it's not the exact same texture as the bracelet, but it almost kind of like extends similar, to the bracelet. Right? Yeah. It's nice. All right, well, in the name of vintage, what do you have for your pick of the week? It's a vintage sea dweller, another one. This one's circa 1979. It's a reference 1665. They call it the Great White, yeah. which is referring to the all white text on the dial. Before the Great White, they had the double red sea dweller with mm -hmm. the two lines of red text. Sure. So it went to the white, and there we go. There's the nickname. The and there's a lot of it, right? There's a <laughs> lot of text down there. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And it's kind of cool. Um, these great whites are, you know, some of my favorite vintage sports watches. They're kind of like, you know, they're also kind of a sleeper. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, if you don't know what, you know, Rolexes that well or watches that well, you're not going to kind of differentiate it from a sub. Sure. Mm -hmm. But it's got the helium escape valve on the side. Mm -hmm. That's a little thicker. And this one's got a really nice patina on the loom. It's that pale yellow. It's got the original bracelet, which is always nice, both 1979. Awesome find, Brandon. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Proud of this one. Yeah, this one's great. All right, as mentioned at the top of the episode, we have a Father's Day bonus. So we've decided to pick a watch for our dads mm -hmm. and kind of share them with you guys. So if you're in, let's go ahead and kick this one off. Yeah, let's do it. Want me to start? Yeah. yeah okay, so. I'll start off with a little history about my dad. Mm -hmm. He's a car guy. Actually, he's a vintage car guy. Oh. So, growing up, my first car was a 66 Pontiac that needed a motor and a bunch of work. Oh. So, you know, I grew up turning wrenches and, you know, <laughs> he kind of showed me the ropes on all that. But, you know, he's had tons and tons of vintage cars, old muscle cars and everything. So, muscle vintage car. Speedmaster. Oh, crap. Yeah. So, um, of course, yeah. Yes. Sporty, um, you know, again, appreciation for vintage. Um, this is a gorgeous one that we had. I mean, there's tons of them that would fit the bill. Mm -hmm. um, from what we had in stock now, nice. I think this is fantastic. He likes it on the leather strap. 
I think it would look great on him and it would be great. So my Father's Day pick, and actually this would be great for my dad, but honestly, I think this is great Many for dads? a lot of people's dads. Cool. Like it's such a such a classic uh, like father's watch. So awesome. Yeah. Great anyway, pick. Vintage Speedmaster is my pick. Great pick. You yeah. guys want to see what I got? Yeah, let's. All right, so a little bit about my dad. Hi, Charlie. Love you. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> um, my dad is fun and cool and very social. It's kind of where I get it from. He does work uh, nine to five, essentially, but on the weekends, he definitely likes to like bring out the flash and have a little bit more fun. He's a big yeah. karaoke guy, too. Oh, nice. So when you're holding the microphone, or I guess this hand, when you're holding the microphone, <laughs> a little bit of something flashy. So in the name of Precious Metals, I chose this Ooh. gorgeous rose gold Panerai. Um, this is a Luminor Marina. Just happens to be the eight-day power reserve. So not only do you get this beautiful flash from the rose gold, but you have eight days on a mechanical wind watch. Yeah. Um, my dad's also a big guy, so 44 millimeters is perfect nice. for him. Enough to let you see it. Yeah. Um, and then even the best part, on Panerai, you get to see this big, beautiful watch and all of the beautiful glory inside. From that case back display, look at this. I think that my dad would love this little feature. Oh to yeah. To get to see oh, cool. all the inner workings. Yeah. I felt like this was a good pick for him. Nice. That's a good choice. What'd you got? Um, so a little bit my, about my dad. Hey dad, um, hope you're watching out there. Um, he's a big watch guy. He, that's where I get it from. He loves Rolex. Ooh. He's always been wearing one since I was younger. So I picked this double red sea dweller and I know that he's- and This is one he does not have. He doesn't have, and oh. it's definitely on his like wish list for sure. So this is from circa 1978. This is actually the last variation of the double red sea dweller with the Mark IV dial. Um, and it's cool when you put it next to this one. I was gonna say, so this was kind of right, right before, before yeah. Yeah. right yeah. before, yeah. right before this one. So that's kind of like, you know, I it's nice that it lined up. Um, but yeah, I think he would love this. He loves the red. It's kind of a grail watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, Dads yeah. deserve a grail. Yeah. I like that, yeah, so. Um. All right, well, happy Father's Day to all of the dads out there and to everybody watching. We really appreciate you guys tuning in with us on our top picks of the week. We'll have a regular episode next week, so be sure to tune back then. Until then, be well.